A lot of times our patients are really in a lot of pain, and pain that has really changed their quality of life. And it's, it's rewarding for me to see them follow through on the treatment um, and reach the goals that they, that they set for themselves. I'm Crystal Chambers, and I'm a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician. I enjoy this work that I do primarily because of the difference that I'm able to make um, in a person's life. And uh, when they come in uh, to be seen, I like for them to really feel like uh, they're being heard. I like to be able to sit with patients and hear what their concerns are. And then from that, we achieve the correct diagnosis present them with their options, help them to weigh the pros and cons of their, of their treatment so that then they can make the correct decision of how they want to proceed with the, the management. So many people have never had pain, um, pain to the point where it was difficult to get up to go to work. Um, it's difficult to play with your young child. And I, I see a number of patients that uh, find themselves in that situation. In particular with spine situations, whether it's herniated discs and pinched nerves or arthritic joints, and all they want to do is be able to get their life back. When patients feel like they can be a part of the solution, then they're a lot more likely to be compliant with the approach and they understand uh, why they're being asked to do certain things. So when they come in, I like for them to really be able to understand that it's a partnership. When you describe a physician that practices in physical medicine and rehabilitation, they are called a physiatrist, and it basically means a physician that practices non-operative musculoskeletal care. Because many of these conditions can be somewhat chronic, uh, I almost feel like a primary care physician for their spine problem. I run into patients in the community all the time. It's really nice to be able to see them out doing just normal everyday things because whenever I see them, many times, you know, they're they're not at their best moment when they come into the office. They're having their, you know, pain situation going on that we'll need to address. So that is pretty neat to be able to see them outside. I really enjoy doing activities with my family. Uh, my children uh, really enjoy water activities. So any activity that's got anything to do with water, we're usually gravitating toward that. Having three daughters of my own, I recognize the importance of doing uh, things uh, such as being uh, involved with publications or being involved with speaking or speaking out, so to speak, because they do look up to you. Most spine problems do not require surgery and there are many spine ailments that actually don't respond very well to surgery. So the last thing you'd want to have a patient exposed to is a surgical procedure that they don't need or they have a surgical procedure and they really are no better off than they were prior to having, having their surgery done. So most times people are, are looking for a non-surgical option and we're happy to be able to provide that. Physical therapy and exercise tends to be a very big part of what we do. We're fortunate to have um, excellent spine surgeons within Resurgeons that we really collaborate with a lot and uh, they're very skilled at the care that they deliver to the spine patients. It's very rewarding to me to have a patient that has come in and when I saw them initially they were in tremendous pain and just really felt like they didn't know where to turn next. When I have the opportunity to be a part of their treatment and more importantly to be a part of the solution, that really is pretty remarkable to be able to have that sort of an impact on a person's life. That's really why, why I do this. Um, it, it really does uh, carry with it a great reward.